beauties are you ready for the reading lesson to Ray hey hey I know I am because we are going to be reading all about seahorses today yes seahorses and seahorses live in the ocean so we're going to continue that ocean research and learn more about ocean animals now do you know anything about seahorses? I know, I don't know too much information, so I'm excited to get reading today. We know that nonfiction books teach us all about something. And in this book, Leo Stats, the author, is going to teach us about seahorses. And our goal for today is to be able to talk about seahorses and information that we've learned from the text. Okay, are you guys ready to get started? This is called Seahorses by Leo Stats. Seahorses. Seahorses are fish. There are more than 30 types of seahorses. They can come in many sizes. They use their tails to hold on to plants. Cool. Body. And we see that title at the top of the page. Very cool. Wonder what we're going to learn all about on this page. A fin on a seahorse's back helps it to swim. A seahorse has two other small fins. One fin is on each side of its head. Look, if you look closely, you'll see that fin. These fins help it steer. So the word steer means to like move, like you steer a car. So it helps it to turn and move. Seahorses can change colors. This helps them blend in with their environments. And we know that environments are where they live. Habitat. Seahorses live in warm oceans. You can find them in shallow water. So shallow water means higher up. Okay, it's not deep in the ocean. Seahorses are not very good swimmers. They often travel by holding on to pieces of floating seaweed. Food. Seahorses eat plankton. A seahorse does not have teeth. It does not have a stomach. It needs to eat very often. It doesn't have a stomach? Its long snout sucks in food. I did not know that. And it eats plankton. How cool is that? Life cycle. Seahorses lay eggs. Male seahorses have a pouch. They carry eggs inside the pouch. No other male animals do this. So guess what? The guy, seahorse, carries the babies. That's so crazy. Could you imagine? Seahorses are on their own after they are born. They live for one to five years. Oh, so when they're left as babies, they're like, bye, see you later. The smallest length, a statomy pygmy seahorse, is shorter than a penny. Wow, that's teeny, teeny, tiny. The largest length, a big-bellied seahorse, is longer than a basketball. Wow, so they come in different sizes. And we have our glossary, and that gives us our definitions for the words that were in bold. Remember we saw those words like environment and plankton? And then the index is just a, it tells us where we can find some words on what pages. Wow, did you guys enjoy learning about seahorses? I know I did. I learned such great information. So let's think about our goal and let's talk all about it. What types of things did we learn about seahorses? What types of things did they eat? Yeah, they ate plankton. Remember, they don't have any stomachs. And what, where do they live? Yeah, they live in shallow water that's water up higher. And what else? Um, what do they have on them? Yeah, they have little fins that help them swim on the side of their, their head and on their back. And they have that tail that helps them hold things. What other fun, interesting facts did you learn about them? Yeah, me too. I can't wait to get started with our writing about 
what we learned all about seahorses, all right? Keep working hard, my beauty.